Hey guys, it is Jade again with sadly the last of my new series videos on my faves and flops. And I have to say this one is going to be the longest one because it's all my lip products. And I've got a lot, a lot more than I realized. Anyway, um, the very first one, I am so so mad because it broke and I'm, I'm really mad. It was a Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas one and I was trying to screw the lid back on and it snapped. So mad. I have to try to find me another one. It had a like a grape, oh god, a grape flavor to it which I'm not really crazy about grape which they called it raisin. I don't know why but it was grapey smelling, but so mad that it broke because it's Nightmare. Nightmare's awesome. But it has to go in the trash now because I don't want that all over my other stuff. Anyway, um, I guess I will start with the lip liners and work my way around my desk because it is a mess. Um, the first two lip liners that I have are actually came from the Maleficent kit that I mentioned earlier um, in one of my other videos that I got from Walgreens last year and really and truly they're like almost the same color this one is um, the Ruth Elf brand this one is more of like a pinky color it's the daytime color and this is a more of a darker red berry color which I mean look at them though they're like very very similar so I don't know they could have put a different color in there to make it a little bit more different a little bit different contrast the next one that I got is, unfortunately, another flop of Revlon, honestly. I mean, it's another Color Stay product, and I guess I should have learned my lesson after I bought the powder, but I didn't. Um, this is just a red lip liner, and it's, I mean, it is a pretty red color. It's oh, actually kind of a little orangey looking, but the problem that I have, it keeps breaking. Like, I'll get it where it's, like, I barely twist it up to, like, this to do my lips, and it breaks. Crap. <laughs> I honestly want to just throw this in the trash, but I paid more than what I wanted to pay for it. So, I will use it till it's gone, but it's crap. I hate this one. The, uh, honestly, the two, and I actually have one more. Just a second. forgot I have this one. Um, this is the only Ulta one that I bought and it is Ulta Automatic Lip Liner in Bloom and it's really pretty. I've actually kind of gotten into wearing like mauve colors here lately and it goes on pretty smooth and it's kind of a pretty color. I um, haven't actually used this yet because I have another one in the same in the same color kind of. Uh, it's a different brand so um, that one's kind of like a backup for now. But um, this one is the one I was talking about that I have, that I'm still using. It's Jordana, and I got it from uh, Walgreens. And it is Baby Berry is the color, and again, it's a mauve color. But honestly, these, for as cheap as they are, have been the best that I've found. So I definitely will be picking up a red one in these. And that's what this one looks like, is right here. So I mean, see the Ulta one here and this one are very similar in color and the other one that I picked up was more for um, a more sultry darker red uh, color and this is in plush plum and um, I actually bought it for my costume that I was doing with the blue eyeliner um, but that's what it looks like here it's a just a darker colored red kind of wine color but it's really pretty and again it's Jordana so I mean it was like really cheap uh, that is all that I have for those just because I don't really use a bunch of different colors of lip liner I mean most of my lipsticks are reds or mauves or something along those lines and uh, that's like all I really use so I don't really wear like hot pinks and I don't really wear like the wild and crazy colors so that's like what I stick to. Um, next I'll move on to my very few now lip glosses but you know some of them are my absolute faves and some of them are just like yeah okay. Um, this one 
I love just because it's Yankee Candle and it looks like a little mini candle. But it's actually a Christmas cookie lip balm. It smells pretty good. I mean, it doesn't smell quite like the candle, but it does smell really good. So I love, I mean, that one's definitely one that I really like. This one is honestly really good. It's Nivea, a kiss of milk and honey soothing lip care. It says it seals in moisture. Honestly, if you've got dry lips, this stuff is amazing. It actually smells really good. It smells like honey. I mean, that's where it ends. But it smells really good, and it, it goes on really smooth, and um, your lips feel like really soft afterwards. So it's a really good one. Another one that I found, and this one actually you have to buy at Sally's because I haven't seen it anywhere else. But they're called Pucker Ups is the brand, and this one's in raspberry. I love this one. This is like I wear this pretty much like every day just because I love it, and. Um, it's good, honestly. Like, I'll put a lip liner on and throw this on, and that's it. How to put some on. Um, oh, I've probably bought, like, five of these because I have used to have a tendency to, like, leave it in my pocket and then wash it. So, yeah, I'd have to go buy another one. So, like, right now I've got two that I use. One's in um, my actual makeup kit, and then the other's in, like, my emergency kit or my purse or whatever it's needed, basically. But love that one. The next one is a Chapstick brand chocolate souffle. And this one smells so good. It smells like chocolate. I mean, that's it named chocolate for a reason, you know, but it smells like chocolate. It smells good. This one is Soft Lips Tint in Honey. I got this in a um, Ulta bag, and it was okay. I mean, it's kind of a kind of pretty color. I mean, it goes on really light. I'm not crazy about it just because, I don't know, I just, it, it doesn't really, it smells good, but like it doesn't feel good on the lips. Like it feels weird on the lips. I don't really like it. I have another chapstick one, and this one is green apple. This smells amazing too. This is like my other go to if I can't find my uh, raspberry one. I don't know why I like the fruity ones, but they smell really good though. And then I also have a Blistex Raspberry Lemonade, and it smells just like lemonade. I mean, it, to me, it smells like um, uh, Starburst Lemon. That, that's what it smells like. It smells good. And then last but not least, on the lip glosses, I have Wet n' Wild um, Juicy Lip Balm with SPF 15 in it, in the color Raspberry. And... Um, it doesn't smell like raspberries, but it actually does have a bit of a color to it. So, like, when you put it on, you get a little bit of color payoff, which is cool for an actual, like, lip ball, uh, lip chapstick. And I like that about it. And it feels really good. It's like, I mean, like, when you put it on, you can, like, tell that it's on. And it's, it's just, it's really nice. It's not greasy. It's not, like, sticky. It's just, it's really nice. And that is it for my chapsticks. On to my lip glosses. Um, I'm trying to do this as quick as possible. Uh, this one I actually picked up at Payless. And it is SYX by Unforgettable Moments. And it says Light Up Lip Gloss. This thing is the coolest thing in the world. I wish more uh, companies would go to this kind of packaging. Because one, it has a mirror on the side, which is cool. Uh, but also, and this is, um, I have no idea what color this one is. Uh, yeah. No idea. It was like $6.99, that was what the tag says, but look at this. It has lights in it. See, oops, see that? It's got lights under the lid. You pull it out and it's lighted. That is like the coolest freaking thing in the world. It goes on really smooth um, but the problem that I have with like all glosses is I love like the color payoff it didn't really smell or anything too which is good um, but it's sticky I mean that's like all glosses are sticky and actually just found another one of my chapstick glosses I don't really know what it is it's more like a gloss but it's anyway it is um, Smith's Strawberry Lip Balm, 
it smells amazing. I got it from Sephora and it was like seven bucks and it is amazing and I've had it for ah, several months and it is like I've used it a lot and you can hardly tell that I've used it. But it smells so good if you love if you like strawberry. Um but anyway back to the lip glosses. Um I actually picked this trio up in um at the Disney store and it's the villains trio and you've got um, the evil queen the queen of hearts and Cruella de Vil and honestly I mainly bought it just for the Cruella de Vil one because I'm always like on the lookout for reds because I love red lips I don't know why I just it's just like sexy to me classic sexy I don't know but that's what I love and honestly, these things are true to the color, and I mean that. Like, this one is a dark red glitter. That is what it is, right here. And this one is a plummy purple glitter. And, like, when you swatch it, it is purple. <laughs> and, I mean, that that is, like, one big plus about these is, I mean, like, they are very pigmented, and, like, you swatch it, you see the color on the bottle, that is what color it is. Like, this is the Queen of Hearts one. I mean, it's it's true to its color. And these are awesome. I just really don't... I'm making a mess. I don't really like these two in particular just because I don't really wear those colors. But, um, I do like them, though. But the Krill de is my favorite. Um, next, I have four Avon ones. And I cannot read the colors because the print is like teeny, teeny, tiny. I don't think I can anyway. Yeah, no. I can't even read these. <laughs> Basically, you have a Barbie pink glitter. This one is kind of a reddish brown glitter. And these are um, Glazeware Intense Lip Glosses. Well, this one is here. The pink one is Glazeware Dazzler. This one is a Glazeware Intense, and it's kind of a brown, uh, it's a lighter brown than this one is. And then this one is a Corally Glazeware Shine. And funny enough, like, I did not like, I got, my grandma gave me all three of these, like, in a gift pack. I did not like any of the three colors at all, separately. But I actually, like, combined the three on my lips, and it turned into, like, this amazing color. Like, I would put... The brown, this color on the bottom lip, and then I'd put this one on half of the top, and then this one on the other half of the top, and then I would like blend it all together, and it made the most amazing color ever. And these are really good. I like them. This one honestly is like my favorite. I think it's like crimson. I think it's the name of the color of it. But it is such a pretty color, and I actually do wear this one quite a bit. It's right here. I wear it a lot, and I actually had a smaller one of it here that my grandma bought me and uh yeah crimson is the color and I'm like oh my gosh you have to get me more I love that stuff it's so pretty and like this one is kind of a brown rosy color and these don't really they smell kind of good I mean like they have like a um it's like there's that one they kind of like a vanilla smell to them so they smell kind of good um this one is the corally pink color I think that stick was a bent. That's it here. It's really light. Um, and this is the pink one. I actually had a Barbie look that I was doing. And um, I put this on. And I'm like, that is totally Barbie. It's like a very hot pink glitter. So, yeah. And then, uh, let's see. This one's another Avon one, too. It is a... Avon Ultra Color Rich Brilliance Lip Gloss, and this one I can actually read it's Crystal Berry, and it's a pinky. It's a lighter pink, but it has a has red and pink shimmer right here to it. Can't really see that too much, but it has that in it. And this is one of those uh, Super Stay 24 Hour Color, and I am not sure who makes this. Um, Maybelline. Okay, there we go. Couldn't read it. And this is, um, 
and just a really bright red color. I like it. Um, the other thing I don't like about these is that usually the stick, the stick that you put over it, which actually this one's not too bad. Um, once you put like the one you, this thing you put over it to seal it to make it last, usually smells like school glue. And um, that was more on the um, uh, cover ones that I've noticed that it smelled like that. This one doesn't smell too bad. So, but it's a pretty color. It's kind of a red. Uh, it's bright red, but um, on it's more of like a pinky red color. And then this is just because I love the name of it. It's Vampire Vixens Black Cherry. It came from Bath and Body Works, and it smells so good. And it's just a, it's one of the squeeze tube ones, and it's just a clear, which it doesn't look clear on, but it's like a clear with like uh, gold and red glitter in it. And then um, this one I picked up at Halloween, and it's Fantasy Makers Sparkling Lip Gloss, and I don't even know what color it is. It's just like red glitter. Can you tell that I like red and glitter? This one goes on pretty well, too. Um, it's like blood red, though. <laughs> it's crazy how red that is. And actually, I have one more that I forgot to grab out. A friend of mine had one of these. These are really cute. They are called, it's Urban Decay Pocket Rocket Lip Glosses. Funny name. The, um, there is a male model on the top, and if you turn it just right, his clothes come off, and he's in a pair of underwear, and different, there's, a uh, two different pictures on either side. Really awesome. This, I bought the, um, this one is Timothy. They all are named for the men that are the models. The, um, I kind of like this, but it is ridiculously sticky. I mean, seriously sticky. It, I, it's like this, it's this one here. Most of the time I can deal with the glitters being, I mean the glitters, but the lip, lip glosses being sticky, but this one is like ridiculous. So, I mean, other than the fact that it's really cute packaging, this is a big flop. So, major, major flop. Okay, last two lip glosses that I have are both NYX, and they are the Soft Matte Lip Creams, both of them. This one is in Istanbul. It's a pink, like a light kind of pink color. And then this one is San Paolo. This one I actually picked, I got in, um, I think it came in my, um, yeah, this one came in the box set that I got, um, Mortal Instruments City of Bones box that I picked up. This one came in that, and that's actually where the, uh, NYX blush I had that I mentioned earlier in another video came from, too. I didn't, forgot about that. This one is, uh, goes really well with my lip liners that I've got. It's just kind of a little, like, mauve pink color. It's really pretty. Um... It's actually like one of my go-tos for now. Uh, and then this one is a dark, kind of darker. It's more reddish. And it actually still goes with the lip liners too. It's right here. But you can see the difference between the two. And um, it's like that's all that I've got for lip glosses. And my hand is covered now. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's sticky. <laughs> oh, that stuff is not coming off. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna um, come back to y'all with uh, in another video with all my favorite lipsticks because I've still got a lot more in this video. It's like almost 20 minutes long. So stay beautiful and ciao for now.